all right guys uh, today i'm gonna show you how to design this ring in fusion 360 using the new emboss tool so let's begin first we create a sketch we select the top plane select uh, the center diameter circle click on the mid section create an 18 mm circle click on fit go to modify click on offset select it and uh, create a 3 mm offset go to solid create an extrude select symmetric the height does not matter but you can create around uh, 4 mm thickness next we need to import the SVG that I made in Illustrator the download link will be in my description below uh, you can create uh, an offset plane move it a little bit forward click on OK zoom out a bit uh, let's go a bit on the other side ok uh, insert SVG we select the offset plane we just made click on the folder and select the SVG file go to the front view reduce the scale of the SVG and get to the middle like that click on OK click on finish the sketch go a little bit on the perspective side now click on click and hold select profile create emboss if your fusion 360 software is updated to the latest version you should see this emboss option here click on emboss click the face the depth of the design is something I would like to reduce I don't want that thick of a ring so we reduce the depth okay uh, next we click on the OK then we select the feature and we want to create duplicate copies around this ring so we go to create pattern circular pattern select the axis let's put a number like 17 I think should be fine to create an endless loop let's have a look uh, you can see there's a small gap here maybe we can create one more copy to close that gap and I guess that works perfect click on OK give it some time uh, it's gonna take a while to create all these 17 or 18 copies okay so now we need to delete the back side of the ring uh, we just want to keep the pattern here we don't want this ring at the back so we select this face go to extrude go and have a look at the bottom select this face click on ok and there we have it guys uh, we can have a look at it the ring is ready uh, I'm gonna be 3d printing it on my Anycubic Photon S resin 3d printer if you learn something new today guys uh, do go ahead and like the video and share it with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, for more such videos and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video